So Plasma, the 25th anniversary edition has just been released, so it's the time where we ask ourselves what's new and should I try it out? So let's go through the updates, the five biggest ones. The first one is the accent color, that is possibly the biggest update of the whole release and I think it's a very very nice addition. There are some desktops that had this already, like Zorin OS, I was very impressed by their good implementation of it and now Plasma has it too. It means that you can just pop up system settings, go to the color se section and then just change the accent color from blue if you don't like it to whatever, pink, purple, bluish, you know, everything, even red if you for some reason want to do that as well. Then we have a whole new look for the windows. It's not in Plasma itself yet, but it's in the windows. So. Uh, basically we have a new look for menus, you can see that the new highlight for context menus is a bit prettier and more modern. We have got a new look for checkboxes, a new look for buttons where they're pressed, for tool buttons in the windows, for, you know, everything sliders, progress bars. We even have a new look for the scroll bars on the right and pretty much uh, everything, every possible widget was redone and we hope that you will like this new style and that it will help make, you know, the windows feel more modern. Now, Plasma will also receive this new look as soon as me, Nicolo, hello, implements it. I've been slow in doing this, but I will do it soon and surely it will ship before or with Plasma 5.24. The next big feature is of course the improvements that we have done in Wayland. Now, of course, I won't go through each like bug fix that we've done. There are many of them. If you know Wayland, if you use it, you know what bug fixes you want to improve the situation. So if you do use Wayland, I urge you to go find the list and see if any of those that annoyed you were fixed and if you do not use Wayland, well maybe it's the right time to try it out and see, see if those things that really kept to X11 were fixed. And if you never ever tried Wayland, this is probably one of the best times. So, so let's skip to the next one, which is Kickoff, which was actually pretty much completely rewritten. Again, we could say, but the first time was to make it prettier. This time is to make it more stable with less um, ugly code, which of course you won't see, but what you will see is that it's more stable. Hopefully it has less bugs and it has a couple of new options. You can pin it with the pin icon and it will stay open until you disable it or press the kickoff icon. And you can also go into settings. You will be able to change lists into grids or grids into lists according on which one you prefer since we know that some users prefer lists, some grids. And the last good thing about this rewrite is that it made kickoff even better on touch screens. As an example, you can long press any element and the context menu will pop up. So kickoff was actually already quite a good widget to use in touch screen, now it's even better. The fifth big feature is one that you won't actually see most likely, but you will soon see it in the versions of Plasma to come because we've started to put down some groundwork to be able to implement cool stuff in the future such as one-to-one -one gestures and a new overview effect. Those are not yet things that are user ready in this Plasma 25th anniversary edition but there is code to uh, implement them in the future and I've made a whole video about that so you can check it that out if you want to learn more. It's in the video description, I guess. And of course, as for almost every Plasma release, at least the core ones, we've got a new wallpaper so you can just look at it and I think it's a pretty good one. I've made a review of all the wallpapers already but I'll just say that I, at first I was not sure about this, but after using it, I've been using it also as video covers for my channel. It looks cool, let, let, let's say, it looks cool. And 
that was pretty much it. It's not like revolutionary update, but it covers a lot of good stuff and bug fixes that were absolutely needed. And now it's much more stable and prettier and the accent color things that I, I love it. Like, I just love it. There are some more uh, smaller things. I don't think that coming to tell you that now the clipboard is better because you can press Ctrl C. That won't help you because I w it would be like 10 minutes long and it would just annoy you. But always in the video description, there's a link to the full change log if you're into it. But the biggest changes are those five. One more small thing, not about KDE, but I'm working on two very cool videos in my opinion. And I don't usually even mention this, but since I'm working on them and I think they're more interesting than usual, I would say please give a look to my channel like tomorrow and next week if you want to like press the bell thingy. So just, just for these two videos, because I think they're particularly cool. You, you will be able to judge for yourself, but I think they're particularly cool. So like, I, I'm kind of proud of them. I'm kind of proud of them. Yeah, let's see you. Hi, hope my voice is voice is normal, but I'm sick and not feeling well though. <laughs> and I have to make two videos. This is the first. Oh yes, it would bo go da 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 fun. A revolution, da, 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 da. but you will soon see in it. And the last good change about kickoff is that it's even more touch screen able to. And you will able to you. Da, 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 da. So Plasma, the 25th anniversary edition has